We all hate tickets. You know the typical ones. Speeding. <laughs> drifting. <laughs> air fresheners. Air fresheners? That's right. If you're not paying attention to the laws in your state, you can get busted for tons of stuff, almost anything. Even features that came with your car from the factory can land you in hot water. But we here at Ideal Media are here to save you the trouble and keep your permanent record squeaky clean. Now you know what isn't illegal just yet? Subscribing to Ideal Media. So smash that sub button and let's get to fighting these tickets. Let's go. Now number one with a bullet has got to be loud exhaust. We car enthusiasts love a screaming straight pipe. The roar of a big V8. The whine of a screaming supercharger. The backfire of an anti-lag system popping off. Music to my ears. What isn't a sound you want to hear is that police siren behind you pulling you over for your loud ass cat back. As a general rule of thumb, you want your exhaust to only register about 95 decibels, which is about as loud as a lawnmower. But some states don't even measure that. They just give you the ticket and tell you to fix it. But definitely check your local laws because in some states, anything louder than stock will get you a fine, including here in Washington which is why I don't drive a cool race car. Now, one solution, which in some states is illegal, so, you know, don't do this, is called an electric exhaust cutout so that you can scream when you need to and keep it low key when you're near Johnny Law. Some cars like the C7 Corvette even come with something like this from the factory. They call it mild to wild. That's like a party button. So keeping your exhaust on the down low is probably a smart way of keeping the red and blue lights out of your rear view mirror. And you may think another smart way of avoiding a ticket is a radar detector, but you would be dead wrong. Not only are detectors illegal in many states and radar jammers illegal nationwide, because you know we in America can't have nice things, but in today's world, they are damn near useless. Back in the 80s, there weren't many like rogue radar signals to pick up. So when you heard a ping, it might have been a cop. But these days, every new car is coming with like automatic lane assist, automatic cruise control, parking sensors, complicated self-driving systems. You'll think your radar detector is R2-D2 as it's jamming out in the back seat screaming at you. So probably best bet to skip the old boy who cried wolf or box who cried cop and get with the times and use services like our favorite, Waze, to help you spot areas being patrolled by cops using GPS and your phone. Or maybe just don't drive so damn fast. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding with you. Now, you may want to slam your car so you can fly under the radar, as they say, but doing that in some states is about the quickest way to land you a fix-it ticket. I mean, one of the first things I do to any car I own is change the ride height, whether it's slamming one of my sports cars or lifting one of my 4x4s. It is one of the easiest ways to stand out and look cool while you're driving down the road. But if I drove my Land Rover with its three inch lift kit through Georgia, I could be facing a huge fine because anything over two inches lifted or lowered there is flat out illegal. So if you wanna slam or lift your ride, you could be facing a major fine. I mean, worth it though, right? This is just another reason that air suspension is kind of the future. You can look sick in the parking lot and be safe and legal on the streets. Okay, okay, I know what you're saying. All these mods so far have been pretty obvious. I mean, things that make your car less safe to drive on the road should be illegal, right? What you might be surprised to learn is that some features from car manufacturers designed to make the roads safer are actually flat out banned in the United States. European luxury brands are always pushing the bar for next gen safety features. And BMW is often the head of the class. But two features that they've pioneered across the pond are being shunned by American lawmakers. The first is what they call dynamic light spot. Driving down a dark country road at night is dangerous. And even more dangerous is walking down it. But you see it all the time. Where are these people going? Anyway, BMW tried to solve this problem by inventing an automatic spotlight that tracks a pedestrian so that drivers can avoid them. But this is America and we can't have nice things. So tech like this, as well as BMW's dynamic high beam system, which automatically dims areas of the headlight to avoid blinding other drivers, which 
oh my gosh, do I wish every car on the road had these, are not available in the United States thanks to outdated rule books. And maybe a little bit of our distrust in the cybernetic overlords. I wonder where that attitude came from. We have got to stop living in the dark ages, people. Now, another factory car feature that could land you in hot water is giving your car a remote start. Boop, boop. Vroom. I don't have remote start, and in fact, all the buttons on my key are broken, so. While the technology itself is actually legal, in many states, it's illegal to actually use them the way people do. Hitting the remote start from the kitchen to warm up your car while you get ready for work is actually considered criminal in some states. They think you're not allowed to have your car running without some babysitter in it. But what's the point of remote starting a car you're sitting in? That's like plugging in your Bluetooth headphones. Lucky for you, this law is one of those ones that's kind of basically impossible to enforce. But don't say we didn't warn you, because we did. There's video evidence right here, you're watching it. We warned you, this is us warning you. Now, ever since I was Little Squid playing Super Off-Road on Nintendo, I basically assume no truck is an off-road truck unless it has a bunch of KC highlights shining from the roof rack. And growing up, seeing them on the streets, they always had those cool yellow caps on them, which I assumed was for protection. But these are actually the holsters for the weapons that these lights can be. See, it's illegal to drive around with uncovered off-road lighting equipment even if they're off. You know, kind of like how it's illegal for me to go outside in this short sleeve shirt because, you know, unholster weapons, am I right? I'm wrong, these aren't weapons at all. Johnny Law doesn't trust that you won't light up that slow poke in the left lane with your highlights. And while you do have to cover up your off-road lighting equipment, do not try covering up your license plate. In some states, like North Carolina, even putting a frame around your license plate is illegal. And don't even think about getting one of those electronic license plate covers that mask your license plate so you can like run red lights. I mean, what kind of jackass does that? Probably the jackass that does this next modification on the list. This one hits me personally. I used to daily my Miata with the top down in a town full of country boys, and on the regular, some giant lifted turbo diesel would dump a cloud of black death in my lap. I mean, I probably have cancer by now. <laughs> Having a cloud of black death pour out of your exhaust pipe might impress your high school friends. <laughs> but it's rude and super legal and bad for your car and just stupid. So keep your truck running right and keep your smoke burning white. Now, if you watched the early Fast and the Furious movies, you probably assumed every modified car on the road had a tank of nitrous in it. I need one of these, one of the big ones, but actually, you know, let's make it too. Just driving around, pressing buttons, getting launched into hyperdrive. They probably used more nitrous oxide in those first few movies than all of the dentist offices in America combined. But that was definitely a case of movie magic. Buying nitrous oxide in some states is extremely difficult and sometimes super legal. Like in Ohio, when you buy nitrous oxide, you have to fill out a form and your name is kept in a database for tracking you. That's like more difficult than buying a gun, which is insane. Thankfully, running nitrous oxide in your car is probably not a crime you're committing. But one crime you're probably guilty of is smelling nice. You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like pat. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's right. Those cute little air fresheners shaped like a tree hanging from your rearview mirror are actually illegal. Which sounds ridiculous. Who doesn't love happy little trees? Right, Bob Ross? Well, let's paint several little happy trees and push. Look at there. They're an American icon. Every road trip, you have to get one. But sadly, those happy little trees and other items hanging from your rearview mirror, like your Mardi Gras beads, your college grad tassel, and definitely your fuzzy dice, all block your view of the road and are, rightfully so, illegal. Now, it's time for the biggest crime on this entire list. You watched this entire video and you haven't subbed to our channel yet, you monster. So hit that sub button, smash that like button, because we're gonna keep bringing you ideal content day after day after day. I mean, that is until it's illegal to do so, because it's not illegal yet to live that ideal lifestyle. I think I just scratched my lens. Ah.
is giving your car a remote start. Oops. <laughs> They probably use ni they probably use more nitrous oxide in this first food move. <laughs> Can't not say it now. <laughs>